Today I'm going to review the Fluke OmniScanner 2 testing set. This set includes a main and remote unit. Also included are five interfaces. Two of them are a channel adapter for category 5, 5V and 6 and there are three custom adapters that you can use to install your own jack on them. The jack installed are custom and could be removed. Also included there are power adapters. Battery on those units do not hold charge for long. So you need to purchase a new battery. I am going to start the main unit now. As you can see there is a burn pixel in the middle of the screen but the screen is readable. So it's not a big problem to add some illumination so the screen is illuminating correctly now I'm going to test this patch cord to see if it's testing correctly so then this unit could test up to 300 megahertz So the test is done now. I'm going to review some of the results. Let's see the return loss since it's failing. These are the results. You can go and check the chart too. So this is the chart of the return loss. I don't know why it's failing. It's maybe due to the patch code. But anyway, the test is done correctly. Remove. The problem is that the key are used out and sometimes you need to push hard to go, to go back. It's not easy to go back. And sometimes they do not work and you need to restart the machine but it's because of the used, used a lot. Let's check the wire map. So as you can see the wire map is okay. The unit does not contain any flash memory card so yes I'm going to go out without saving because you need to put a, a card in it so it can save the result. The interface USB and the parallel port the serial port are functioning correctly. You, as you can see the place to, to put the flash card is empty. So this is our review of the machine. If you need to purchase, go to orjuan.com and check us out. These are all the features of the machine.